My name is Ted Price. I'm the president of Insomniac Games, and I'm here showing off Resistance Fall of Man, which is a brand new game for the PlayStation 3. It was really important for us to develop a game that was not a World War II shooter. So the game takes place in 1951 in a version of 1951 where World War II never even happened. The reason that World War II never came about was because of the presence of a race called the Chimera. Now the Chimera have emerged from Russia and have swept across Asia and Europe obliterating populations. You play the part of a U.S. Ranger named Nathan Hale who goes in with an American force to try to help the Brits fight off the Chimera. Well, it was really important for us to do it, create a well-crafted experience for players, which gives them a lot, a very strong story mode, uh, co-op, play all the way through, multiplayer offline and online, including 40 players online during uh, our multiplayer modes. We wanted to give them a full experience, but at the same time, we wanted to create a story that was unique, something that was themed very differently from a lot of the first-person shooters you see, and some weapons that you really haven't seen before in first-person shooters. And Again, the PlayStation 3 has allowed us to do a lot more with this game than we've ever been able to do with any of our others in terms of detail, in terms of just the sheer amount of stuff going on in the background. The leap between PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 is just astronomical. And the reason for that is, is that the cell processor allows you to farm out a lot of tasks at once so they can all be done in parallel. This gives us the opportunity to create a more realistic physics system in the game. More sophisticated AI for the enemies. Uh, many more effects being processed at the same time. Originally we wanted to have a lot of enemies fighting against you in the game so you'd feel overwhelmed in these battle scenarios and we've been able to do that in many of the levels simply because we have the processing power to throw at all of these different uh, AI routines. We have a lot of weapons for the player to use and they're weapons that you really haven't seen before in first person shooters. Uh, and Right now you're seeing a pretty standard weapon which is our the first weapon you get in the game but as you move Further into the game, you get some Chimeran weapons, and you get some very exotic human weapons. And last question, because it's been such a different game than, than the previous titles of Ratchet and Clank and things like that, what's it been like developing this game? Has it been really super fun? Has it been like tapping into things that you've not been able to tap into before and have an opportunity to do that? What's the development of this title been like for you and the team? It's been a blast. I mean, it's, let me let me say, it's been uh, it's been exhilarating and extremely challenging at the same time, simply because we moved onto a new platform, we moved into a new genre, or one that was relatively new for us, and we were dealing with a, a launch title. But all of those put together gave us the opportunity to do things that we didn't even think we could do on our own, and it's been a lot of fun to see it evolve to what it is today, and we're very proud of what it is, and we're hoping that everybody loves it. Our people certainly seem excited to be playing it, and uh, I need to get some hands-on time with it and check it out, so I'm excited to do that. Thanks so much for talking with us, and best of luck with it. Thank you very much. Right.